One of the key things we need to do is to change our self-identity. If you identify as your name, your life story, your race, your religion, your background, whatever, you are identifying with a set of labels that are transitory and are incredibly brief. And those set of labels are not you. They are what you are experiencing. I am not David Icke. I am a point of attention, which can be myopic or vast, within an infinite stream of consciousness. And you are a point of attention in that same consciousness that observes reality from a different point of view. We are all points of attention in that same one consciousness, which is what, what, why racism is so ludicrous. And if you self-identify with your labels as the I, the total I, then you see the world in a certain way, and it can be very frightening. But when you self-identify as I am eternal, infinite awareness having this experience. And when I leave the body, which is just a way that focuses our attention within a tiny band of frequency, and when we leave the body, our attention expands far as we want it to, because that attention is no longer being focused through the body, through the five senses. And we go on experiencing and exploring forever, forever. This is a brief experience for a point of eternal consciousness that we give a name to. And when you observe the world from that perspective, which is where I've been coming from for a long time now, it's not so frightening. And you have the ability to connect dots because you're seeing things from a panorama and not a myopia. And from my myopia can seem very, very fearful, but from the panorama, it's just another experience. Our perceptions, and it can be explained very simply how this works, our perceptions become our experience. And if you fall into fear of something, everything that we experience, everything in this reality, everything, even the coronavirus, is a frequency. Every thought is a frequency. Fear is a frequency. It's a different frequency to love. It's a different frequency to joy. But our perceptions are also frequencies. And everybody has the power to use their mind to dictate their own reality. Why is it that this cult, this system, is so desperate to control human perception? Because it knows human perception becomes human experience. And if we fall into states of fear, we are going to manifest fear, the reasons to fear all around us. But if we take our minds back, we take our consciousness back, we can create a different reality. Because what is human society? It's the sum total of human perception. Human perception changes, human society must change because it's just a reflection of the sum total of human perception. We love each other, we live in a loving world. We hate each other, we live in a world of hate. We fear, we live in a world of fear. We are in control. They've just persuaded us we're not. They say the more, the more you know, the more you know there is to know. Well, yeah, on one level that's right. But there's another way, the more you know, the more you realize how little there is to actually know to take control of your life and your life experience. And so much of the complexity hides these simple sparkling truths. And in the end, when you get down to the core, we are what we perceive. Change what you perceive and you'll change what you experience.